How to add images by meta fields in Shopify. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to add the images that you want to the products that you want of course by just using the meta fields and it is very easy. So all you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over Shopify.com, sign in for an account and as you can see here we have the dashboard of our account. So the next thing that you need to do is to uh, set up the products. For example, here I'm going to head over my products and see the quantity and also the product catalog. So once you're going to select a product, you have only the option to add the images by adding the media. So you are going to click on the plus button or add media right away. So as you can see, I want or we want to add that by the meta fields. So how we can do that, it is very easy. So we are going to the settings. We're going to click on settings and then we're going to seek for the uh, custom data. So we are going to click on custom data. And here, as you can see, we have meta field definitions and we have meta object. So we are going to select here the meta field definitions. We are going to select from here the products. Then we have uh, no meta fields created right here. So we are going to add a definition. You are going to click on it. Now we are going to give the name of that meta field definition. So we are going to set up, for example, as referral or reference, ref, reference like that image so this is just a reference image so i'm going to name it like that in the uh, most of the ports these kind of meta fields definitions are used for the uh, size chart for example you are having maybe a, a clothing store or a shoe store and you want to set up this image as a um, let's say here a standard image for every product that you're going to show here from there the um, sizes the charts and etc so this is the uh, first for example uh, use of the meta field uh, image so for description we're going to here either go ahead and add it we can go ahead and add the same title or we can leave it here empty now we are going to select the type and now we have we need to select from the most used the file we are going to set up only one file and for the validation here we have accept specific type of files we're not going to uh, here indicate the video but we are going to add only the images and now we are going simply to click on save so here we have added the reference now we are going to head over our shopify store we are going to head over the product, refresh the page a few times here, once or twice. Then we are going to select, or you can go ahead and see that we are going to create a meta data or meta object. So we are going to see here, we have some meta fields, as I have mentioned, it is right there. When you click on it, you're going to select the reference image, and then you are going to put it right here. So. So let's go ahead here and add a, maybe a reference image, which is going to be this one for that specific product. So here we have it. We're going to click on it, click on save and boom, here we have it. Now I am going to let you see here the purpose of adding the meta field right there and how we can show it right here to the product page. So we are going to head over to the online store. Once you are here, you are going to select themes and then we are going to see here the current theme so we are going to click on customize once you are here you are going to uh, here use the product page and how we can access that it is very easy we are going to click on the top here at home page then we are going to select the product page or the products default product and now you are going to see that this uh, default product will reunit all the pages that you have for the product we have i think we are here we have assigned nine products 
where we have only nine products. So we are going to add something to it. So we are going to add a section. And that section is going to be a collage. So why I have added a collage because we are not going to, we are going to be free with the use of them. So we are not going to use the product and also the collection. We're going only to use the multimedia collage. So we're going to click on it. And here is the most interesting part here at the heading. We have a uh, the right to connect a dynamic source. We're going to click on it and then we are going to see here and say for our meta field that we have added. So we are going to see here the meta field that we have added and we are going to connect it right here. So we are going to search for it. So here I have made a mistake for looking for the collage. We don't need to set up the collage, but we need only the image of the collage. We are going to click on connect dynamic source. Make sure that you have selected the image. And as you can see, we have here the reference image. It will load up here the reference image that we have uh, made or we have uploaded. And this is it. So don't forget to click on save and it will show up here the uh, image that we have added so it will take a little bit of time so we can go ahead and edit the meta field from here and here we are going to select the image so we are going to click on done here boom save it then we are going to uh, refresh the page right there this is in the case that you you see no image set up or added so we are going to see it right away here. So normally it will be changing this one. So in any case, you're going to put that and refresh it in just a few seconds. And here after a few refreshes, we have here the image, which is the reference one. So I'm going simply to head over the collage and change that title. So we are going to put here reference image like that so you can go ahead and set the uh, image like that you are going to click on the image and you can also modify the image uh, size if the less uh, sizes that you are going to put uh, the uh, best uh, for your uh, website so here we have the reference image and here we have it you can uh, put this as a uh, size chart as i have said before this will be more uh, interactive for you. So I'm going to take that collage into, as you can see here, section. We're going to put it, or we are going to add the image right there, or you can go ahead and put it like this. So it is on the upper size right there. So here we have it. So that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.